name's Mark Spinks and my role with the AHC is that of chairperson. My memories of Redfern go back to 1970 when I first came down here from the bush, from the town of Burke. Uh, it was a friendly place. Uh, 44 gallon drums with fires in them and people gathered around singing songs around it with a guitar. It evolved into problems with drugs, uh, which was a sad, sad time. Um, we saw so many changes during that time because of the drug problem and, and the effect it had on families. Until where we are today, where uh, we're doing something about the block, uh, something about building new homes for Aboriginal people, which is most important. And I'm so proud to be a part of that. When I was a child, uh, two brothers used to line up at assembly, and they called my grandmother some terrible names because she was she was black. And this happened on the Monday to Friday, and the Friday I fought the fist fight with the eldest brother. And I can't sit here and tell you I beat him, I didn't. He knocked me down. As I got up, his brother ran across and took my right eye out with a stick. But a lot of strength came to me through my grandmother. You had to be mentally strong when things like that happen to you, when, when your skin is my colour and people know that you're a black fella. Um, you have to be mentally strong. Well, you do, as a lot of people have done, you've turned to drugs. I chose not to do that. be here now, to be on that block in 1970, living just across the road in Lewis Street in 1970, to be running a hostel for Aboriginal people with 40 people under my roof, you think about this, one-eyed, fair-skinned black fella from Burke, and to be now the chairperson of this Aboriginal housing company about to build $70 million worth of houses for Aboriginal people on the block, it's an absolute honour for me. In all our lives we've got a journey, right? That's my journey. We all have that journey. You have a journey. You have a journey we're all going on. It all depends on which direction we take. And I've chosen that direction. When I first came on board the housing company, it was um, because I had a great belief in the man who's fought the fight for 40 years, Michael Mundine. I have so much respect for the man, I know what he's been through. And he's been through not just the, the wars with uh, non-Indigenous Australians, but his own people in a lot of cases. Not in every case, but in a lot. And the man stood strong, he stood firm, and he's uh, very strong in his beliefs. I have respect for that. If I have respect for that. I'm proud to be a part of that. When he asked me to, uh, as a director initially, I accepted immediately because uh, I know what he's been through. Because I've seen it. I've been here since 1970, and I've seen what he's what he's done, what he's achieved, and what his goal is, his vision, uh, and where his heart is, it's in the new housing project for Aboriginal people and Aboriginal families, new beginning. That's where he stands for, and that's why I'm glad to be a part of this. The Aboriginal Housing Company is like an overseer for um, the development for the housing for Aboriginal people. You see, you've got to consider that if we don't have Aboriginal housing on the block, we've lost that identity in Sydney, in the heart of Sydney. This is Aboriginal land, always will be. It just costs so much more for Aboriginal people to live here. The Aboriginal Housing Company builds new homes and brings new families and rejuvenates this area with uh, a spirit, an Aboriginal spirit, that uh, will live on long, long after we're gone. Uh, that's something to be excited about and to understand that uh, it's so needed and it's, it's being watched by everyone in Australia, not just Aboriginal people. Everyone in Australia is watching what we do in the heart of Sydney right now. Pemaway is a project that has been long overdue, it's a long time in the making. Um, we've seen some developments in the past. This is a whole new era, a new dawn for Aboriginal people. Um, something we're all so excited about, even someone at my age, um, to have a part in something that's going to be the future of Aboriginal families and Aboriginal children. To see new growth on the block. I'm so proud to be a part of that. That's the vision, and that's the plan, and that will be the reality new beginning for Aboriginal people on the block, the heart of Sydney. I see a great future, an exciting future for Redfern, especially with the development. The develop when the development happens and we bring new families and new life and new blood and see the children playing on the block again and the cultural centre and the housing and the shops and 
new life. You can just see it all spring before you and it's, it's an exciting time because Redfern, the city's coming to Redfern. The city, you can see it now with the new high rise that are being built with a, you know, on RSL site where Aboriginal people used to go. Um, it's all coming out now, the city, the boundaries are moving out this way. And that's a good thing. And Aboriginal people are a big part of that, that new beginning, that new era. I probably won't be around in 10 years, but for those that will be, I'm proud to say that we've been a part of that, bring that back for them, for the Aboriginal people of the future. The new Redfern.